Oh, man, it has been too long <laughs> since Bobby Mao's been in this office. We've come a long way since the last time you were here. Indeed, indeed. All you, kid. Yes, sir. Hey, Petey tells me that you're, uh, whatever it's called, is through the roof. Z rating, and through the roof is a bit of an exaggeration. Uh, it's only one point above shot. It's 1.7. Technically. Yeah, we might as well just call that too, right? Whatever yes. it is. Yes. Yes. Whatever it is. 1.7. MP has done everything we've asked him to do and then some. Mm -hmm. First order of business, get your face out there on that billboard instead of old what's his name. Let's go! Yes! yes. Yeah, that one really got your goat, huh? Oh, yeah. Don't know that. Mila and I have been working hard on developing billboard prototypes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wanted to keep it a secret. See, uh, she's got a really sharp sense of branding, MP, and to be honest with you, I was quite impressed. You were, eventually. Okay, look, I won't apologize for being highly protective of my client's interests. Nevertheless, Mila here proved to be a, uh, an ideal collaborator. Okay, well, it sounds like you two had a boatload of fun. It was an experience. Show them the thing. Show them the thing. <laughs> okay, see it. Okay, we managed to settle on three options, each with a slightly different feel, but we all believe within the parameters of a newly established Perco Latte branding guidelines. Here we yeah, I know uh, I vetted them from a PR perspective. They all work. Look, all right. they did a great job, but they're fine. Honestly, it's just a matter of personal preference. Wait, no, no, wait, hold, hold on. I got a question. So all y'all kept this a secret for me? No. For how we, long? We don't socialize. <laughs> but but, but, but I will work, say so I don't know. that is really nice of y'all. Yeah. One no. lip piece, son. Excellent choice. Yeah, I would have <laughs> picked that one too, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, but wait, <clears throat> there's more. <laughs> feel like a game show host. <laughs> Pete, okay. tell them what's good. Okay, due to your frankly shocking increasing Z rating and likability rating and your English perceived Pete. all in the courts. I think that was unnecessary. Okay. We want you to star in our national commercial. No, 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 what? no, no, no. Hey. <laughs> Woo! For real? That's amazing. Hey, you earned it. What's Go. the concept? I don't want to give it away just yet, but Pete and Uncle Bobby and I have been working on something pretty special. Okay, okay, uh, wait, do I have to like, memorize oh, lines or anything? There's going to be a teleprompter or oh, oh, oh. cue It's not set in you. stone, and as long as you can read, it should happen within a week or two. Oh, hey, hey, I can read. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, can I just say what a joy it's been to see how far you've come in so short a time? It is an honor to be in business with your son. <laughs> Uncle Bobby, man, it, it means a lot to hear you say that. I won't let you down. I know you won't. And even here, in the middle of the season, Steve, some players are really putting in the work and playing with postseason energy. Well, that's a mark of greatness in my book, Kevin. Guys who value every game and don't want any unnecessary losses on their record. Look at Cleveland's starting group. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Clarkson. And it's Osman in at the three. Now here is Conley. pass to Bogdanovich and a miss there on the triple to the Jazz their last game a loss to the Grizzlies well when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy you have to bring your A game especially when you're on the road the Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the night right here And he's good on the second. And you know there aren't many teams with a more dedicated fan base than Utah. The Jazz fans are behind their team no matter what. And the layup's good off the glass. Just a creative ball handler. Sexton does a really good job with his change of speeds and direction, keeping the defender off balance. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. It's good. It's always striking, Greg, to see the bond between the Jazz team and their followers. Well, when you're the only game in town, people take the team to heart. And we see it in cities like Portland and San Antonio as well. The fans form that attachment to their team. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Mobley right side. Clarkson finds Mobley. Back to Clarkson. Down 
in as many tries. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Conley. 17 points for him last game against Memphis. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. And getting better at distributing in the pick and roll. Sexton wants to evolve more as a passer. And the dunk by MP. And you know, something that surprised a lot of people about MP, his interest in the world of fashion. It hasn't taken him long to become one of the NBA's fashion icons. He's making a name for himself in the design business, and he's getting new fans with his clothes and his basketball. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Oh, good on the three. Jazz trail by five. Sexton with it. And it's Clarkson picking him up. The shot by Sexton, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Tries again. And that one's good. Osman. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this. Archon against Sexton. Outside Garland. Pass to Clarkson. Allen a screen on Sexton. Clarkson dishes to Allen. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. The timeout is... Jazz trail by nine. We've got Conley, and it's Markinen in at the power forward. That's the group right now for Utah. Here's Horton Tucker, and the call on the shot. He's at on the year. Allen's check in for Kevin Love. And so he hits both. Here's Garland. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Suns was superb. He scored 41 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. Kevin will see what he's got in his arsenal tonight. Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios call for different measures. I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away. And really, the defense foul in there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly and a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And they've also refused to give up on their plays today, chasing after their shots and just working hard for second chance points. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Mobley kicks to Clarkson over Sexton. And it's Clarkson that time on the assist by Mobley. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Conley the pass to Sexton. And he drives in. And Sexton slams it in. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Just a solid contributor. Mike Conley has continued to age, and he looks far from done. G.A., he's terrific, especially at setting the pace and orchestrating an offense. Also solid at realizing how to get his teammates involved. A selfless distributor who looks to make his guys better. Here's Sexton, and he uses the glass on the lane. Sexton's got four this quarter. You know, not bashful about positioning himself inside. Sexton knows he has what it takes to score from there. Clarkson for three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. 
Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Conley against Garland. Goes up on the block, and Conley puts it in. Conley's got his first two points of the night. Well, this is where Conley operates best naturally, in the paint, creating for others or himself. And MP throws it down. Kicks it to Bogdanovich. That one doesn't drop. Good D from Love. And the Cavaliers with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. And that one good from Clarkson. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Butler feeling out a bit. Puts it up from 12. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Outside, Sexton. Clarkson for three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Clarkson with the ball. Guarded now by Sexton, and he gets the bucket. And that's now 30 points for MP. Down the stretch, this is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Butler with the ball. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Clarkson for three. Knocks down the three ball. Clarkson's got himself on the board with three there. A, a fine shooter from deep. Clarkson has a good feel for when to let it fly. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Clarkson. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Butler goes in. That one good for two. Butler's got his second basket of the night. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. And it's Mitchell missing. And so it's Cleveland, feeling good about their shot. Not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Clarkson is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Osman in at the three seat. And I think, Steve, now we see less real grudge matches than we did before. But do you like seeing those games where there is no love lost, where there is some bad blood? And some contention. Kevin, I love it. Yes, friends off the court, but on the court, you got to go at each other. And when it's over, win or lose, you leave it right there and you go back to being friends. Sexton, the pass to Conley. Off target from outside. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Shots good by Clarkson. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. To the middle, it's stolen by Allen. Now Cleveland moving it up. There's the three. And Clarkson gets it to go on the assist by Garland. Clarkson's got 38 points. That makes three in a row to start the second half. He's checked in for the Jazz. To the inside. Conley against Garland. Nice ball movement by Utah. Conley into the lane. It's over Garland. Conley's shot is off. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Out to Clarkson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Garland's got his sixth assist on the night. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jams. 
nothing yet for them in the third quarter. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Here's Bogdanovich, and it's sent back by Allen. Right side, Garland. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Another three for Cleveland. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Marking and down low. Covered by Mobley. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Back to Clarkson. Utah with the rebound. Right around three minutes into the second half. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Horton Tucker. He averages a bit over six points a game. Shot clock at five. Trying to get something going. Offensive rebound. He's on target from eight feet out. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. Or Cleveland, they've gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Here's Osman. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Another three for Cleveland. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Garland against Connor. Marking in a screen on Garland. And stolen by Mobley. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. And they call the foul, so he's got the end. Hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Lopez, he's checked in for Allen. Love comes in for Evan Mobley. Mitchell, he's checked in for Jetty Austin. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. And Markinen gets it to go on the assist from Bogdanovich. How many seven-footers do you know that will beat you off the dribble running screen and roll? Markinen is special. Love the pass to Clarkson. Rubio outside. Back to Clarkson. Down low. Kicks it out to Mitchell. It's good from long range. Mitchell's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. 35 seconds left in the third. Clarkson passes to Markinen. Here's Clarkson. Out to the wing. Here's Obashi. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And we think of Donovan primarily as a scorer first, but their fantastic pass. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Way out of checked in for Taylor Horton Tucker. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Jordan Clarkson. Cleveland controlling the game. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Cleveland. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. Butler out there with Cowan Sexton. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Markinen. And it's Abaji in at the three slot. That's the group right now for Utah. Count it. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Sexton with it. He's picked up by Lopez. 
Here's Markkinen, and again it's Utah. Everyone knows about Markkinen from range. Also has the tools to challenge inside. Here's Neto. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you next time.